Um, all right, we are going to shift to the awards. And then Tammy is going to come back and join us for the officer induction. So last year, we didn't get that opportunity to have our, our um, conference and we missed out on the awards. So we're going to first go through those and then we're going to move into the 2020, 2021 awards. So this year are for the um, 2019, 2020 service awards. And this is years of service. This is years of membership in HFMA. So we have the five and 10 year award winners, 15 and 20, 25 and 30, 35 and 40, 45, And now to our Founders Awards. Our Fulmer Bronze Award winner, Frank Burns. Reeves Silver Award winners, Tammy Rivera and Jonathan Wick. And now to the Volunteer of the Year for 2019-2020. This woman has been a leader of our Women in Leadership um, program, and she's been a speaker. She's also on the officer track for our chapter and um, has been a big supporter of HFMA. Um, and one thing that I don't know that everyone knows about her is she's also a marathon runner. So our Volunteer of the Year for 2019-2020 is Dina Prince. Woo Dina. All right. Now to our Business Partner of the Year. Um, our Business Partner of the Year for 2019-2020 is, um, they are at every conference. They're, uh, they're at their booth. They're walking around talking to people. They are a always, they have been such a great supporter of our chapter and we cannot thank them enough. It is continuum. Please give them a round of applause. Now for our Medal of Honor winner. So um, she has been a member of HFMA for 24 years, and I don't know that she is on here, but I had email and texted her to try to get her to join. Um, she was also uh, past, she is a past president, and she was the president of our chapter for the 2013-2014 year. And um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this about her, but she absolutely loves Outlander. I mean, this woman loves Outlander. She has a quilt on her wall in her home of all these little shots of different scenes from Outlander. So um, if she's not here today, please make sure that you give her a shout out everywhere you can. Our Medal of Honor winner is Stephanie Ward. Congratulations, Stephanie. And now on to 2020, 2021. Our service award winners are five and 10 year. Fifteen and 20. Twenty five and 30. Thirty five and 40. 45, 50, and 55 year winners. And our own Bernie Fellner, Bernie's on. Congratulations, Bernie, 50 years, HFMA. We love you. Now to the Founder Awards. For the Fulmer Bronze Award winners, Warren Cloder. Jeff Neeson, Lindsay Skinner, and Eric Wilberg. 
the Frederick T. Munson Gold Award winners, Tammy Rivera and Jonathan Witt. Congratulations. Now to our Volunteer of the Year. So our Volunteer of the Year is a board member. Um, he has um, been part of HFMA for 10 years. He is our certification master. He has taken our certification program for our Colorado chapter and taken it over the top, not just for our chapter, but also for Region 10. And, um, you know, he's a musician. He plays the piano and the guitar. So our volunteer of the year, Eric Wilbur. Thank you, Eric. Now for our Medal of Honor winner. So our Medal of Honor winner is a very good friend. Been with HFMA for 25 years. I'm gonna try not cry. Um, he has held a number of positions on a national level. He's a faculty member of the Association Education and Training Committee. Um, he has, um, for the past 10 years, He's um, a past president. He served two terms to help us get our pipeline built up for 2018, 2019, 2019, 2020 years. Um, he's our current past president. He's also our region elect three. And um, he loves to ski and scuba dive. And you know what a secret is that I don't know that everybody knows? Is, oh my gosh, he's a world-class cello player. He played with Yo-Yo Ma. So give it up for our very own Chad Kirchel. Now for our business partner of the year. As officers and a board, we gave this a lot of thought and um, we were all 100% in agreement. There's no way that we could have lasted this past year with all the challenges that we have had without our annual business partners. And we made the decision that all our annual business partners are our business partner of the year. So thank you all. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now, um, I, I wanna give a shout out to very, to four very important gentlemen that hold chair positions. That would be Aaron Furlan, our, um, our membership chair. Aaron worked tirelessly, uh, tirelessly, that one's gonna get stuck, by himself to make sure he was reaching out to our members to get them to um, renew their membership. He's worked with our enterprise members. We started our year last year with um, 617 members and that was at the beginning of May, 2020. We now have 810 members. Chad and I discussed this. We can't remember how long ago it was that we had over 800 members of Colorado HFMA. So Aaron, um, I don't believe you're here, but please give Aaron a shout out. What an incredible job he did. Next would be Eric Wilbur. Eric also worked tirelessly on certification and working with our enterprise members, uh, finding out what their needs are, putting together programs for our local chapter as well as our region. Thank you, Eric, for all the work that you have done. You have taken our certification over the top. And the last two would be Warren Cloder and Doug Dunbar who are our chair and co-chair of our sponsorship committee. Those two men took our sponsorship to a place that no one ever imagined it was gonna be. We knew that belts were tight, that money was so incredibly tight. We tried to find the value that we could give them for annual sponsors. They took what we thought was unimaginable and blew it out of the water for our annual sponsorship year. Thank you so much. And I have one last. 
You know, at our a conference every year, we always um, do a, a, a thank you to our past president. And last year we didn't have our conference and could not thank Chad for his two years of presidency. I know that you have your plaque and your, um, and your mallet. And I just have to say, thank you so much for your leadership and all the hard work that you have done for our chapter and continue to do on an ongoing basis. So with that, I'm shocked I made it through it without crying. I'm sure um, all of those of you that know me um, are surprised by that as well. And we are now going to turn it back to Tammy. And Tammy's going to do our officer induction. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it now. Sorry about that. Um, so I, I applaud you all. That was unbelievable. And what a way to, to, to you know, you know, tribute to to all of these incredible volunteers and Stephanie and Bernie and Chad. I mean, and I just think it's just incredible. And so many others. I, I started writing down names, and I was like, I, I can't keep track of you all. Congratulations to all of you. It's it's no. Um, it's, it's pretty important work that you do, so thank you. Um, I'm here today to do the very cool thing of I'm gonna install the new chapter officers and I also wanna recognize uh, those that have served over the last year. Um, you know, and, and due to our situation today, we are doing the installation remotely, obviously, but that doesn't, by no means, does that mean it is, um, uh, it's any less significant, it's a pretty important um, occasion and I'm really proud and honored to be a part of it. So I want to begin by um, with the officers who are completing their service for the 2019-2020 term um, and these volunteers have given their time, attention and hard work to help build the foundation on which the chapter will grow in the coming year and um, and I can tell you and Pilar and I were just talking before we got started here. Um, it's really really important I, I, my hat truly goes off to you all. It was not an easy year to lead, um, not only to you know engage your business partners in a meaningful way, but also to deliver quality education, keep your volunteers engaged. So um, I led a chat. I, I was chapter president for two years myself, and so I understand um, what's involved with that. So on behalf of HFMA, I, I thank you. So um, this group would include your president, Pilar Mank. The president-elect, Jonathan Wick. Uh, Vice President of Education, Tammy Rivera. Your secretary, Dina Prince. Your treasurer, Mike Brown. And your directors, Svenja Bellin, Janice McNichols, Jeff Neeson, and Eric Wilbert. So on behalf of the chapter and HFMA, I, allow me to share you a deep appreciation for your service and thank you for all you've done. So let's give them a round of applause. Yay, and I gotta hit my little hands here because I think it's cool. Um, and next, I'd like to present you uh, with the officers who have been elected for the 2021-2022 term. Um, and as you all know, you know, serving um, on, as in, in any capacity, but you know, it can involve a tremendous investment of your time and talent, but it's also an excellent opportunity to discover new things and develop new skills and collaborate with your colleagues. And um, all of us are excited to see what this new group of leaders will bring to the table in the years to come. And I would be remiss if I didn't just do a quick pause. Jonathan Wick here is not only a colleague, but a dear friend. And so this in and of itself is a really special opportunity for me. So I, I'm, I'm really touched to be sharing this with my friend and colleague, Jonathan. So as the names of the officer are, you know, are, are read, you know, I see some of you here and you can wave to us. Um, your, your president for this next year is Jonathan Wick. Um, President-elect is Tammy Rivera. Your vice president of education is Dina Prince. Your secretary is Svenja Bellin. Your treasurer is Mike Brown. And your directors for this coming year are Jeff Neeson, Michael Gallimore, Warren Cloder, 
and Eric Wilbur. To you newly elected officers and those continuing in office, I extend my sincere congratulations. I am confident that your wisdom, um, confident in the wisdom that your, you, your peers have shown by electing you all, and we are looking forward to your work. And so um, there are some you know, specific um, duties that are associated with this role that's in your bylaws. And so if you're interested in, in understanding what's involved in this role and might be considering it for yourself, go to the chapter website, it's there. But for those incoming officers, I am gonna ask you a question. And you know, um, assuming that you all have your cameras turned on here, um, you know, I would like for you to just respond with I do following your, the questions. And I am reading this, by the way, because it is formal and I do not want to get it wrong. So kind of like taking the oath of office, you know, and um, it is taking the oath of office. So it's important. Okay, so I've got uh, three questions for you here. First question, do you, having been duly elected as an officer or director of the Colorado Chapter Healthcare Financial Management Association, hereby solemnly affirm to uphold the constitution of HFMA and your chapter and agree to abide by and follow the bylaws of HFMA and of your chapters. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Next question, do you promise to do your best to preserve the reputation and dignity of HFMA and of your chapter? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. And then finally, do you accept all of the responsibilities designated to your office? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Okay. Well, with that, you know, I hereby declare you installed. Um, I think, you know, I, I wish you every success. Um, I will be your cruise director for the next year. And um, I am looking forward to seeing you all in July and seeing you all in November and working with you and um, know that HFMA has got your back, I've got your back, um, and we will plot this path forward um, with resilience and excitement and just such a, such a rich, rich opportunity we have ahead of us. So my sincerest congratulations, I declare you installed. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you to our new officers and our new elected board.